the brand new SR71 is amazing. And I think it's just amazing because it's not another timber. No, it's actually amazing on its own. I really love everything about this and it comes in at a pretty solid price point. Now, some guys are gonna look at this plane and say, man, that's gonna be hard to see. Orientation, it just looks like a flying shadow, a silhouette, which is kind of the point if you want a scale plane. And on our maiden flight, it really was kind of hard to see at times. They have come up with a solution, which I think is genius. And we talked about these in the maiden flight, but we're gonna show them off today. I think people are gonna want to see what this sucker actually looks like with these new vertical stabilizers on. This isn't some optional secondary part that you can pay more money for. These are actually included. They just snap in place just as easily as those snapped out of place. Check this out too. There's a carbon fiber little dowel there and then the two bits that snap. So it's uh, it's almost three points of contact. Abby said it'd be cool to have one red vertical stabilizer for true orientation help, but they give you two. So I wanna see what two looks like in the air. Yeah, Actually, it looks pretty awesome. Still, I like the scale look, but in today's video, we're gonna fly it with those red vertical stabilizers on. They're backwards. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, <okay. laughs> I made you look. <laughs> You're just too easy sometimes, Nate. Oh, I'm more, yes, I know. I set myself up. Easy target. I asked for it. Just, you know what, though? When you enjoy <laughs> life as much as I do, you can't bring me down, I don't care. <laughs> if a person can enjoy life more at my expense, <laughs> go for it. Are you saying that's what I do? I think so, yeah. <laughs> All right. Who's ready for a nice, clean takeoff? I love that they chose orange painted brushless motors inside those EDF uh, cavities because at the right angle, they almost look like thrusters and that's really cool. This would be a really cool plane with thrusters. Okay, so we're in safe. We've got a rocky runway for a little scale guys. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> and we just ease up on that elevator at about full throttle and we just tend to get a nice smooth takeoff. At least we did on the Maiden. We did some touch and goes on that Maiden flight and Abby at that distance and on an overcast You like the day, red, don't you? Uh, it does help. Yeah, really I like the red help. too. I'll get a nice flyby, but right there, that looks great. We'll fly by in front of the camera at this angle, hopefully. And uh, oh, I miss rudder. I even find myself using rudder on that bank. <laughs> Your poor wheel is down. like, I don't know why you're turning me. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. Could save my battery if I didn't do that. <laughs> It's looking good. I like those red stabilizers. That's nice. I might do your idea for my next flight, which will be one of each. Yeah, I like True that idea. orientation yeah. help. It looks really cool like this. Like, I like the way it looks like this, I think, better than the other way. Well, you and I like unrealistic things. Don't, don't get me wrong, I love the scale look of this, but Abby and I have always said we, we think plane companies, RC plane companies, should make insanely unrealistic brightly colored super fun wild things now i will Still say completely lost no, you in I didn't, the trees I didn't. you did i think it's better i, think I had with no that idea line, where you were <laughs> it's a silhouette guys it's flying great you wouldn't think something with this shape would fly as well as it does but it's flying really good but yes you can lose it Ooh. and we're gonna go safe off nice slow I'm pass flying way too much safe on this flight Nice little roll out there, and we're going to get it back closer to us and try to roll in front of the camera here. Full throttle, screaming it. Nose up. Roll it over. Let's roll left. They both feel really nice. Yeah. If you love the way the SR71 looks, which I don't know anyone that wouldn't love how cool this is and unique, you would love owning this. If you don't like those landing gear on there, just know that you can take that landing gear off and do hand launches and belly landings. But I'll be honest with you, I'm a little nervous about that just because I'm not the best hand launcher in the world. I should feel comfortable because we have safe on here, but just because this is such a new airplane, I didn't want to crash it on my second flight. So I chose to do some more ground takeoffs and landings. It's a nice rolling airplane. You know what we haven't tried? I can't believe we haven't tried it. A nice sloop. So we're going to gain some altitude because we couldn't lose quite a bit. And we'll put the nose into the one mile an hour breeze that we have and see if we can get a loop. I think it's going to be rather difficult. I just, I don't know why. It just feels like, so we're going to pull back, see if we can get a loop out here. Nah, I handled that pretty well. That was all right. You do want to crank that at full throttle though. And uh, 
That was a pretty clean loop for such an odd looking airplane. I'm not sure if this one could do a loop in real life. I don't, I don't know. I don't think it could. I, I don't know that. I don't know. Okay. I think it's time to uh, bring it in for a nice landing. Because we're so far away, okay, I'm actually clicking safe on to get it down past that dark tree line down there. You guys see that? Boom, disappears almost. Still saw the red. Look at that smooth landing. So far, everything on this is just butter. And it might be because of those soft foam wheels. It's a very soft foam. The first time I pulled this out of the box and felt those wheels, I thought, wow, that just feels different than most of these hard foam, black painted, or even black foam wheels. Now they may not hold up as well. They may uh, get torn up over time, but I love, I love how they grip to the ground and they're nice and quiet too. You know, this is just really amazing the way it looks out of the box. It just looks awesome. The box art, the plane, everything looks amazing. So when I thought, okay, I'm gonna ruin the scale look of it with these red stabilizers, I didn't think I'd like it. I knew Abby would like it, but I didn't think I would like it. And so I was hesitant, but I still wanted to put them on. They include them. I wanted you guys to see what it's all about. And I'm glad I did. It does seem to be more visible when it's in the air, which is always a good thing with your RCs. Uh, it's really your call. I made in the thing with the black stabilizers on and it came back in one piece on an overcast day. So I think you'll be fine either way, but if you do struggle to see your planes at all, then I recommend you put the red ones on and when you're shelf queening this up, put the black ones on because they look amazing. This plane will be linked in the description box below and if you found our video useful or just fun, then we ask that you would, uh, if you're considering buying this, click the link and pull it up that way because it supports our channel and our family at no extra cost to you. It's an amazing system. If you're going to spend the money anyway, you might as well support one of your favorite free content creators. Uh, so we appreciate anyone and everyone that considers doing that. Now, not only this airplane, let's say you look at this video two weeks after we release it and you're like, wow, it's out of stock already because it's amazing and it will be. You can still buy your second favorite airplane. You click this link, it pulls it up and then you go find your P-51 or whatever while you're on the website and we'll get credit for that too. So it really goes a long way and we're super grateful and we thank you guys very much. Also want to say a massive thanks to God because He's blessed us with just such an amazingly beautiful day. Clouds or no clouds, I got to fly an RC plane today. And that's a great day. I'm super happy, but I have a lot to be thankful for and I'm super grateful. And I hope, I hope you guys are feeling a little gratitude today too. It just makes the day generally a little nicer when you have a little gratitude in your life. So thank you to everyone watching as well. And a massive thanks to our Patreon supporters because we couldn't do what we do as often as we do it without your amazing support. You guys keep the cameras rolling. You keep the computers running the editing Abby and I do it all and so without your amazing support we probably couldn't keep up financially so that we could get decent quality videos out to you guys so super 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 massive thank you now if you missed the maiden flight we do go over a few more things on this airplane and I think it's absolutely worth your time so Abby and I will handpick that video just for you it's popping up right about now thanks for watching we'll see you there Bye.